Morning. Oh my gosh, it's cold. So I'm uh, I'm in Siberia ghost town, and uh, it's uh, just uh, it's past sunrise. Well, it's quite a ways past sunrise actually. Look how far the uh, sun's come so far. Over at Dish Bowl, I think it's called Dish Bowl, Dish Bowl Volcano. That, that big black volcano over there. You see it over the wall. Anyway, um, I'm just so cold that I'm huddled here uh, behind the wall. My hands are shaking behind the wall of the um, what remains. This used to be the um, uh, the railroad station here at Siberia Ghost Town. It's all that's left anymore. So. I'm take a look around. Um, let me just take another sip of my coffee. Well, it's still warm. <laughs> Rubble. I'm, he I'm hesitant to stand around because the wind is coming from the other side of the wall there. And as soon as if I, if I put my hand right through here, it's just, it's, ooh, ooh, it's just blisteringly cold right there. So I'm, try I'm trying to hide from it. The uh, bike is over there. Mm. I'll leave the coffee here. Stay! <laughs> you can see my bike uh, over there, and then behind the bike is the tent, which uh, I had to set up when I arrived last night. Uh, my flashlight gave out within a minute of arrival, so fortunately I had over half a... half. The moon was halfway full, so I was able to have enough moonlight to set up tent uh, my tent. Uh, with moonlight, and then just clamber into my sleeping bag and zip up over my head because it's so darn cold. So, um, I think there's a train coming too. Oh yeah, you can see the train coming, winding its way down uh, Siberia grade over there. See that over there? It'll be here in a few minutes. It's gonna pass right by us. We'll hear it blast its horn four times. This is all that remains of the, um, of the uh, post office, not the post office, but the railroad office here. And I've seen photos of it while well, well, the wall was uh, in better, in, you know, in more pieces. And this was the door right here. This crawl crumbled in. Looks like someone's piled some rocks there, some, a little bit of graffiti right there. And uh, there's, you know, more of it here. Looks like, I think there was more wall or something. Don't, don't know what happened to all the rocks, you know? You think that something must have happened to them. And where do they all go? For the walls. And did it burn? Uh, there is evidence of uh, charcoal here and there. I think the, uh, um, I think it was a pit toilet over here. I think this was the outhouse right here. Or not the outhouse, but the, you know, the toilet. Just a, a basin. And, uh, and there's an old Playboy down there. That wasn't there last time I was here. What else is down there? <laughs> Why is it, what is it about places like, places like this and a uh, Playboy magazine and Hustler and stuff like that? <laughs> In the middle of nowhere. And there goes a train, so here four blasts starting about now. About a mile long train. It's moving fast, it's going down the grade. Someone's been here, left this fire pit here. It's been here for quite a while. That grill thing in the middle, that's mine. I, well, it's not really mine, but I, I used that over at my camp for as like a thing to hold my pit, my uh, fire thingy, my stove. And anyway, here's some more of those rocks I like. I like looking at the uh, wall from this perspective because you can kind of see the uh, stones. Various types, you know, there's rhyolite in there and uh, you know, desert rocks of various sorts. Some, some have some pretty color. A little wooden beam in there. And there's all, you know, bits of you know, metal here and there. Well, that's a good place to sit right here. I can sit out of the wind. It's so cold, my hands are frozen. Oh, look at the old nails. What's this? No wonder. 
it is a ghost town after all, so there's lots of bits of humanity. And then there's a, a little step up right there. Step up. More around here. Hopefully when the uh, sun comes up a little higher, it'll warm up a little bit. And then uh, lots and lots of rocks over here. Big chunks of the wall. There goes, there goes the end of the train. Of course there's no caboose. Those are all a thing of the past. I gotta wrap this video up and uh, get back to my hidey hole from the hiding from the wind. You know, in some ways, the um, it's a, a trade-off. You know, the uh, winter time when I'm here, when I'm here, it's just so dang cold. It's like it's it's, it's painful. I mean, it's it's really a biting, stinging feeling on my fingers right now. And you may ask, why not gloves? That's a good question, and uh, I don't have a good answer for that. Um, and uh, and I do have gloves, <laughs> actually. I just don't wear them. Uh, look at those rocks up there. That's neat. And, but in the summer, when about this time, I'd be desperately uh, scrambling to put the camp together because the uh, desert killer, the sun, will be uh, marching in from the deep water wilderness up there. And here comes another train. This is a uh, this is a westbound train making its way up uh, Mojave Grade. It'll start blasting its horn in just a minute again. Again, and and there's a uh, four blasts, two short, or two long, one short, and then one long. Toot, 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 like that. Look at the smoke coming out of the locomotive. Exhaust. Short, short. <laughs> he or she. And there's uh, more evidence of, uh, you know, the rocks from the ghost town over here. It's a lot of fun to look around. You can go out there in the desert and find all kinds of bits and pieces. But for now, I'm gonna go back to hiding because uh, these fingers just aren't working anymore. And then once it warms up a little more, I'll break my tent, have some breakfast, and uh, go from there. So, uh, okay. Signing off. More coffee.